everyone, welcome to Steam Code. Today I'll be showing you how to make a game of Sudoku in HTML. This is a multi-part series, so in this, in this first part I'll just be creating the grid. So let's get started. So inside of your HTML file, put doc type HTML. And then inside of the head tag, we're going to set the title to Sudoku. Save that. Title set to Sudoku. Alright, and so let's link to our CSS file. It's called main.css. So link rel equals style sheet type equals text dot text slash CSS href equals main dot CSS I forgot the equal sign and the main dot CSS is just the file name and next we're going to be using jQuery in our JavaScript file so we need the CDN to link to that um, so we're actually able to access this. If you don't know what jQuery is, it's a JavaScript library to make writing code in JavaScript faster and easier. So search up jQuery CDN. Copy that and then just paste it right inside of your code. And then now we're going to be linking to our app.js file, so source equals app.js okay perfect so we're done with everything inside of the head so now we're gonna go to the body and so inside of our body this is where the grid is actually gonna be created so first we need a container to hold that grid so we're gonna have a div element div class is equal to grid and inside of this grid is out of this div element we're going to have 81 divs and their class is going to be cell and the reason we're going to have 81 is because a sudoku board is 9 by 9 so we're going to have div class equals cell id equals zero zero and the reason I'm putting the ID here is because later on in our tutorial series we're going to need to reference that ID in order to know which cell we're talking about in terms of checking the cells to see if they're correct and and adding numbers to different cells and whatnot and so we're going to copy this 81 times, so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. And then we're just going to change the numbers here to make it incrementing. And then copy this 8 more times. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Eight. Perfect. And now we're just going to need to change the ID numbers. So go down here, change everything to a 1. This is going to be changed to a 2. And make sure you're following along with the numbering because this becomes very important later on in the series.
last but not least, we have 88. All right, perfect. So if you were to reload this, you'll notice that we don't see anything. And the reason that is, is because we haven't actually styled any of this. This is this is only inside of the HTML file, and this means basically nothing right now. And so what we need to do is style this inside of our CSS file. So let's hop into our CSS file. And the first thing we're going to want to do is say dot grid. This just references the div that is the grid that has a class of grid. We're going to set the display to grid. We're going to have grid template columns and then repeat nine times 100 pixels so basically what this means is we're going to have nine columns and each column will be 100 pixels and we're going to do the same thing for the rows so just change this to grid template rows so nine rows 100 pixels each and then justify content to the center this, so that will mean that the grid is horizontally centered. And so next we're going to have dot cell. The border will be one pixel and solid black. You can have this any color, any size that you want. Background color will be white. We're going to have the text aligned to the center and the font size will be 72 pixels all right so now for to reload this you can see we we have our sudoku grid but as you might notice it's very unappealing and you can't really differentiate between the three by three squares so this is something that we're going to actually fix inside of our javascript file and we're going to also be using some of the jQuery to help fix it because that will just make the entire process much faster. So the first thing we're going to have is dollar sign document dot ready function and inside of this function is where our code is going to be. So basically what this says is when the document is ready, so when the document has finished loading do whatever's inside of here and this is all jQuery by the way so and jQuery is denoted by a dollar sign so if you have a dollar sign before your line of code then it tells the compiler that we're going to be using jQuery so dot grid this just references the grid class or the div with the grid class associated to it children dot children dot each and inside of here we're going to have another function and basically what this says is for all the children of the of the grid class for each of them do whatever's inside of this function and the children of the grid class are these cells because they're inside of these, the, all of these cell divs are inside of this uh, grid element. And so for each of these cells, we're going to create, we're actually going to create two variables above here. So var x, actually, no, we're going to create these inside of here. So var x is and then var y. So x will be equal to parse int. I'll tell you what this line of code means after I'm done writing it. Dot attribute id dot substring 
zero, one. All right, so this code might look very confusing right now, but I'll tell you what it means. And we're just gonna change this up for y. Dot substring. Instead of the zero one, we're just gonna have one. All right, so basically what this is saying is we're having this variable x. x will be equal to this, and this just denotes to the the cell that we're currently on because this right here is basically a for loop and so the dollar sign this just references the element that we're currently on within that for loop so this dot attribute id so we're getting the id and then we're getting the substring and then we're getting substring 01 which is just the first element of that id and we're running the method parse int on it to, to turn it from a string, because as you can see it's a string right here, into an interval, or into an in, uh, integer. And the same goes for y, except we're taking the second element, or the second character from that string. And so now we're going to be setting the borders of the three by three cells so if y is equal to 2 or y is equal to 5 then set this cell dot css this is just changing the css so set the border right width so change the width of the border to the right of this cell to five pixels and then we'll do the same thing for what for x so except for different uh, numbers so if x is equal to two or x is equal to five then set the bottom with a 5. So basically what this is doing is it's going through each cell, starting from 0, 0, which is right here, is going through each cell, and then if the if y, if the y variable of that cell, so if it's any one of these cells right here, if it's 2 or it's 5, then it's setting the border to its right to equal 5, so it's an accentuated border, and the same for x. If x is within this row, or this row, then it's setting the border to the right to 5. And so if we reload this, we can see that's exactly what it did. And so this this is all for the first part of the tutorial. In further parts, I'll be showing you how to actually set numbers inside of these cells <coughs> and actually solve a Sudoku game. But this has been it. Thank you guys for watching, and I will see you next time.